when we learn history, we learn about the people, their place of origin, their food, the clothes they wore, and the houses they lived in. We learn about the lives of hunters, farmers, rulers, merchants, artisans, everybody. We learn about the games that the children played, the stories that they heard, and the songs that they sang. Yes, all this has to be discovered, put together into stories and understood before we can make sense of history. And the real heroes are the ones who are out there putting the puzzle pieces of the past together so that we can have all these stories to learn and enjoy. But how do they know? if what they're doing is accurate or not. Galahad slayed a bull. Galahad slayed a bull that was bigger than this palace. Oh, King, Sir Galahad slayed a bull that was four times bigger than this palace. That's impossible. A bull cannot be that big. Who told you this? He was the one who told me. He was the one who told me. I've seen with my own eyes. Well, it was a bit smaller than the palace. What? I'm the primary source? How do historians work? Well, it's pretty simple. They investigate the past to make sense of it. They ask questions and they get evidence to answer these questions. Then, if required, they add a little bit of guesswork and then they connect everything into logical stories. After all, the historians come across so many sources of information that can be all be used as evidence. Well, evidence is of two types. Primary sources and secondary sources. Wait a minute. How do we know which one belongs to which column? Hmm. You know what? Let's take a little trip to the past. I'm here in the second century CE, watching over this very important meeting between the king and his ministers. Everything that is happening here is getting noted down in this manuscript. See? This manuscript is a primary source. Yay! A primary source is the original source of a particular event or individual written during the time of that event or individual. A primary source can be many things. It can be a manuscript, which is a document with written information about an event or an individual. Or it can be a diary, or an autobiography, or artifacts such as weapons, pots, monuments. Or it can be any other source that was created at that time. A primary source can also be an individual, a person with direct knowledge of an event. Historians use primary sources and other evidence that supports that source to research before writing. Now, this article that I'm writing here, this is a secondary source because this source talks about the contents of the primary source. It talks about an event that happened at a different time period. Secondary sources include criticisms, newspaper articles about an event, uh, works of other historians, analysis of the original information, and even your history textbook is a secondary source. Historians have all these sources laid out in front of them, both primary and secondary. Their work is kind of easy. 
They can just compare the manuscripts and the articles and the artifacts and all the sources, fit all the jigsaw pieces together and come up with a nice, complete picture of the past. If you like this video and want to watch many, many more amazing videos like these, like and subscribe to our channel now.